Hello, hello, welcome back. I definitely did not forget about this. I, no, I really, I didn't really forget it, but this is probably one of my favorite things to do, and I was really excited when I said to make sure instead of going back to making stuff, that this was something that some people requested. So, um, I'm going to make these a little boring. Instead of time lapse of music, I might try to explain my thoughts more and also just talk about life, so. I mean, music is nice, but I can see that it's best just watching someone build with music. Not really enjoyable for a wide variety of people, if you get what I mean. If anyone is unfamiliar with what this is, don't even need, you don't need to go back and watch previous parts of the series, but I'm basically remaking the map one of Secret Neighbor. Mostly to add more to it, to make more decorations, just also just fix some things with the map, but surprisingly map one is actually one of my favorites and to be honest, you won't really see like major changes, mostly decorative ones. And now it actually gets to the building. I'm currently working on the garage and one of the things I realized was that I'm running out of space. So a bit of a smaller garage, which in my opinion, this is probably one of the bigger tips if I were to make some sort of tips on um, building. Smaller spaces are better. It gives you less options, which is sort of a good thing. What you'll see is that, um, and you'll see this in different parts of the map because I just did not know what to do with it. You'll see there's these empty spaces and they just look really bad. Um, so if you are making a map, do not be afraid to get small spaces because they will. you can just make them look so much better. So towards here in the time lapse, I'm working on electricity. Um, if you don't know how to really use the gates, I think Nether Strider made something on it. I don't know if, I know they added like tick and delay, I think, but I'm pretty sure those just add some sort of a delay to it. Uh, I never really experimented with them, so sorry I cannot explain them. But my attempt here was to see if I get actually the breaker working, but I think later on I just was, I was like downstairs just thinking about the map, I was like, this is not possible. So. You'll see me experimenting, but eventually I kind of realize it's not really possible to get the actual breaker working. I really hope that's something they add, so that you could turn on and off power. Hopefully they're listening to this and they'll add that. Please. Now one of the things that I really wanted to add was, well, if you don't know, if you've never played the game, <laughs> uh, there's usually a gun on the map, that, there's only one, that spawns randomly usually in some of the other upper levels. Uh, one of the issues with me adding it in is that you know where it is every time you play. The only reason I was kind of against that is because like, if you play the map a lot, you'd have an unfair advantage like with knowing where things were. Uh, I mean, maybe it's not that big of an issue, but I didn't really want it to happen. So I was experimenting with ways I could like maybe fling the gun to offset it into another area, but didn't really work. I might come back to this maybe using wardrobes because they're a little glitchy, but I couldn't really find a way to properly fling the gun in a random direction. Even if you bring it up to a really high spot and drop it, it just goes straight down. It, it's really weird. For Premiere, the map was just getting more developed. I realized that I really should have light switches. I think when I first started making this map, I don't even think that light switches even exist. I don't even remember, but one of the things that I realized while building was that uh, the neighbor room, which I did like a really long time ago, it's in a really bad spot and it also exits the wrong way. You won't really see it right now, but when I develop the map more, you'll see that the neighbor door is in the wrong spot. I will fix that, but likely the neighbor room will get a makeover because it, it looks kind of bad and Honestly, it has that like elevator in it, but when you use the elevator, it's super slow. It's just, it needs much change. But I'm getting up to my favorite part, which is the library. The library map one was, I wouldn't say my favorite part of the map. I would just say the entirety of the first floor was my favorite, but that library is just, I wish there was more to it because I don't know why but that grand library was so cool to me 
if you didn't see the community post, I found whatever these were. I think they're in map 5. But, gosh, I really... I'm so happy I found a use for them because they are so good for this library. I never was considering that I have like an upper level to the library where it's like a nice little reading spot. Presumably, if this house was used. <laughs> I really hope this is a good way to fill the void of well, these building time lapses. Uh, I mean, I already said that, but I just hope I'm doing a good job. Uh, that's why I'm going to add some life stuff. So, recently... I don't know if it's because I've been watching uh, some people play Dave the Diver. If you don't know, it's like a diving game where you... It's like the whole story and you kill fish for sushi. The guy makes really good sushi. That game has sort of made me really into sushi. <laughs> I, mean, I've, I mean, it's in the name. I already like sushi, but more than just like a shrimp tempura and a California roll. Now more stuff so i'm gonna show actually a few images because they were really cool i've never tried sushi where the fish is layered on top of it i didn't even really know that was a thing i just thought like the fish was always inside but honestly when i had it like at the restaurant i didn't really like it you know it was a cool texture but i was like oh this isn't really good but then when i left and that night i was like Man, I want more of it. <laughs> like, I don't know why, but it, it, it doesn't have that, like, a, that doesn't have, like, a crazy taste that makes you want more. But it, it, it just, I don't know how, it just makes you want more. Otherwise, I did try some more sushi, just randomly. Uh, found out that a nearby grocery store actually sells nearly the same sushi, and it's really nice. I love it. But... And I really wish I could got the guy's name, but we had to leave early. I was interested in trying their entire entire sushi menu. In that sushi menu, there was something called the Golden Dragon, I think. It had eel in it. I didn't know if I would like eel. So I tried a portion. It was good. And of course, I put the order in. Um, I definitely would say I was a little annoyed because <laughs> by the time I got it, other people eating at my table were done, so <laughs> the food was here, and then they're they were done. I mean, they're patient, but the point is, it looks super cool. I wish I, I think he had like his own tip jar, but we left early. Next time, definitely tip for him, but or her. Gosh, I wasn't expecting it. And the thing I hate is because when I bit into it, it didn't taste as good as I thought it would because it's a lot of avocado. But gosh, it was it was such a cool design. I was not expecting it. <laughs> uh, but I will, what I will say is that all day something when just looking at menus, like sushi menus in particular, was the idea of how they're named. And hopefully this isn't like offensive or something. I don't know if it is. So, apologies if it is, it, it probably isn't, I'm just making sure, but I was trying to see like the correlation in the namings, because I mean, shrimp, obviously shrimp to pour, there's shrimp in it, California rules, maybe because it's more, it's more like vegetable based, I wasn't sure, but then I was interested like why dragon was in the name of a lot of them, I mean, unless, you know, big reveal, dragons are real, Sushi chef's hiding secret. Real? Oh, probably not real, but I guess the correlation is that it's a lot of greens. Like, you, what I'll usually see is avocado, cucumber, and eel, or eel sauce, and all and all dragon ones. So cool that I found that out. Maybe you did, and you're just like, who is this guy? You like figured this out ten million years ago. Otherwise, I'll let the rest of this play out. And enjoy. <laughs> 